Hello guys, how are you doing? This is Anu Viji from Yumi and Tech with a new video. I have been told a million times by my family and relatives when I call them, Anu, it's lightning and thundering here. Let's put the phone down and connect later. So you may have heard all this time, people get hit by lightning and get barbecued while using their mobile phones. Most of this kind of news are floating around social media, WhatsApp and Facebook. The moral of these stories could be, do not use mobile phone while lightning, else you're inviting that for sure. Is it actually true? Well, the short answer is no. You won't get struck by lightning just because you are using mobile phone. Why? Watch this video till the end to find out that. And we know that you're enjoying our videos. Show your love by hitting the like button, share the video and subscribe to the channel. So let's jump to the video. What is lightning? It is the overflow of electrical discharge of very short duration and very high voltage. Everything in this universe is made of atoms. Since the atoms are made of positively charged nucleus and negatively charged electrons, everything has got a charge. Since they equally cancel each other, we don't get to feel the effect of charge in everything. But when there are situations like things rubbing each other, the charges get separated and then forms a potential. Hope you remember the comb and dry hair experiment. The more pile up of charges, the stronger the potential is. Potential is nothing but the voltage. And if there is a difference in potential between two points, there is a possibility of flow of charge. That is current. And what stops from happening this is the resistance between these two points. Because of the turbulence in the atmosphere, often there could be pileups of charges in the clouds. The positive charges will pile up on the upper portion of the cloud, while the negative charges will gather in the lower portion of the cloud. When the potential difference increases after an extent, it tends to ionize the medium and start flowing to reduce the potential difference. This is called discharging. When the discharging occurs over the clouds through ionized air, this electricity produces a very high temperature. As a consequence of this, the air burns and starts glowing as flash, which we see as lightning. There are three types of discharging inside the cloud, between the clouds, and from the cloud to the earth. The most common one is the first type. But for us, the third type is important. To kill a human, just 0.1 ampere of current is enough. But at the time of lightning, it is thousands of amperes flowing down to the earth. When the charge accumulation on the clouds crosses a particular limit and the potential raises significantly, it looks for a less resistant path to the earth. Depending on the pressure, temperature and humidity, the resistance in the atmosphere is different at different parts. So the flow of lightning is a little complicated. When it starts from the cloud, it forms many branches in different directions. The next round of flow is through the least resistant branch of them. The other branches fade away at the next level. Then from the least resistant branch, there forms multiple branches again to find the least resistant path at the next level. That is why in the picture of lightning, instead of a single straight line, we see multiple branches of distorted lines. Remember, all of it happens in just a fraction of a second. Once any of such branches touch the earth, there begins the actual show. Until now, in the process of making the path, there might be tens or hundreds of ampere of current flowing. And once this path is formed, a mass if current of 30,000 ampere would be flowing through this least resistant channel. It is termed as return strike and this is the reason for all the dangerous incidents in lightning. The temperature of the path it flows through can rise up to 50,000 degrees Celsius. Remember, the temperature on the surface of the sun is just 5,000 degrees Celsius. The sound of thundering is nothing but the pressure difference due to the expansion of highly hot air in a short span of time. Now think of it. When the path is being made, if you place a body in between, it avoids the air and passes through you. Things which are placed high from the ground level, such as the hills, the trees, the towers, and of course your body are the easiest routes for this discharging. When the charge clouds are ready, and if your body is the highest thing down there, you're done. So that is the reason why we are advised to avoid open areas while it's lightning. Let's come back to mobile phones. 
Unless getting charged, the mobile phones are interacting with their surroundings through electromagnetic waves. Even though it has got an electro in its name, it does not cause or help the flow of charges. Electromagnetic waves don't need any medium to pass. That is why the light, which is an electromagnetic wave, travels from the sun through the vacuum space and reaches the earth. So in short, the mobile phones cannot attract lightning. But TV and LAN phones are not like that. They are connected via metal wires, hence open an express route for the lightning. If any of the electric poles or TV dishes are hit by the lightning, a significant amount of current flows through this road and reaches our home. Hence, unplug all the electric devices while it's lightning. The mobile phones do not have a direct connection with the cellular towers. The signals that are coming from the cellular towers are everywhere surrounding us, irrespective of if we make calls or not, as if we are based in a sea of electromagnetic field. Imagine. If the electromagnetic fields can attract lightning, then all of us are at risk of getting struck whether we are using mobile phones or not. So for everyone out there, let's get the thing straight. You will not get struck by lightning just because you are using mobile phones. It is just another myth or internet hoax. Well, you can get hit if you're at the wrong place at the wrong time. So the next time, if someone tells you to stop using mobile phone while it's lightning, show them this video. If you like this video, make sure you show it by hitting the like button, subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends. So guys, that's all for now. We'll be back again with more exciting videos. Until then, bye-bye.